Engineering Class of 2020, I salute you. This has been a finale to your degrees that none of us could have imagined even a few short months ago. Our world was turned upside down, fittingly, on Friday the 13th of March. By the following Tuesday, it was clear to most of us that our campus home was going to be vacant for some time to come. You've had four remarkable years here, some of you five. You've changed dramatically from when you arrived on campus. You've made so many friends, grown into professionals, ready to take on the world. We couldn't be prouder than we are of who you are today. What our universities represent is the mixing of ideas and people from all over the world, from all disciplines across campus, from communities and from cities across our magnificent country. Over the last few years, you've moved from classes to labs, from coffee shops to dorms, to sporting events, libraries, and apartments. At the same time as your professors have trudged from engineering to Thorvaldsen, to meetings in industry and conferences around the world. What we have in university communities is a magnificent way for people to learn and to share ideas and to rapidly spread those ideas around the world. Unfortunately, we also have designed an environment that's magnificent for the spreading of other things too. So when we moved quickly, we saved people and we kept them safe. And that was a really big accomplishment for us. Our vibrant campus life will have to live virtually for some time. The friendships that spread rapidly through all of your lives while you were here for us are friendships that can last a lifetime. This class has started out by staying connected through a virtual environment. Stay connected. Those friends will understand parts of who you are that never change with the passing years. As I thought about what I wanted to say to you today, I went back to the history of our college. Our first graduates finished their degrees in 1916. They were excused from classes a few weeks early to go to basic training and were on special leave to come back and get their diplomas. Then they left immediately for the war and the college shut down. All the professors and all the students enlisted. When they came back in 1918, the Spanish flu epidemic closed our campus for another year. So it wasn't until September of 1919 that classes were able to resume, and it was 1921 before we had another class of graduates, five whole years after our first class of students. My grandmother graduated from university in 1922. She raised four children during the Depression and the Second World War, and I can tell you that stress baking is not a new thing. Throughout my mother's childhood, they made a batch of cookies, two pies, and bread every Saturday. By the time of the Second World War, engineering students were not permitted to enlist. They were kept on campus because it was understood that technology and innovation were the pathways to getting through a crisis. I can tell you that models for epidemic spread that were developed in universities were immediately used in industry to find ways to keep essential services running while keeping our people at low risk. Students and technical staff and equipment from our college were all deployed almost immediately for COVID response. Knowledge remains one of our most important and powerful currencies. Curiosity combined with knowledge and hard work is almost unstoppable. While our generation is not used to collective hardship, we are resilient, we are strong, and the degrees you've worked so hard to earn will give you the strongest possible foundation for your future lives. Just as my grandparents did, you will go on to do great things. You will grow beautiful families that fill your hearts with joy and that force you to grow as fast as they do. 
You will find your paths as engineers and have remarkable adventures, building the future and solving tough problems. You will fulfill the many dreams you have today in ways that surprise you. You are a class that will go down in history as the class that refused to let a pandemic get in the way of your goals. My warm congratulations to each and every one of you.